Everyone is in position. From now on, the instructors are just observing. The success or failure of the mission is down to the Irish Space Cadets. Remember the key objectives. Launch the Space Shuttle Discovery and head to the International Space Station orbiting above Earth. Conduct experiments and an EVA on the Space Station while waiting for the shuttle. Pick up two astronauts from the station and return safely by shuttle to Earth. Let's see how our space cadets manage. It's time for liftoff. Start the preset. R2 panel, boiler nitrogen supply brackets three on. External lighting deactivation. APU fuel TK tank valve on. brackets three. Yeah, okay. CL to sit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. How are they doing? Flicking switches right now. Oh, hey, guys, can you hear me? You have about 90 seconds to finish, and then we're going to start oh. the clock. Oh, OK. Wait, we have the... Wait, wait, wait. I feel kind of lucky being in Capcom. I mean, it's like a really important role, and it's really critical to the mission. But they're the actual ones in space, which is going to be a whole lot more stressful. Yeah, so hold it down for five seconds. One, two. When you're inside the International Space Station, it's just like a lot of switches everywhere you look. Four, five. One, oh. One. Pro exec. Daniela and Jack have successfully launched the Space Shuttle Discovery. The Space Shuttle's official name was Space Transportation System, and those shuttles did a lot of transporting. They flew 135 missions and brought 355 astronauts into space. The last shuttle launched in 2011 and headed to the International Space Station. It was a successful flight, but Daniela and Jack are at space camp, so they can expect anomalies. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem, APU speed. Copy, we're just reaching that there. Mission Control has to be ready to help solve problems, so Sinead springs into action. All right, three is affected. You're going to go or two. All right, that's Daniela's side. I would have to tell them, like, flip this switch to this position, push this button here. What should I do? Three is your affected engine, so it should be off right now. Oh, yes. So it was a bit of a challenge trying to understand the information I had and then communicate it to them in a way that they could understand and then they'd be able to carry out the like actions to like stop the rocket exploding. You want to put the APU speed select to high. Yep, perfect. You solved okay. that problem. All right, good job. Well done, Sinead. She figured out that the problem was with the shuttle's third engine and soon Daniela and Jack get their flight back on track. And while the shuttle heads towards the ISS, it's time for Asia and Finton's EVA. Suiting up for the EVA was really exciting. These are the real space suits that astronauts wear in space. The only thing we don't wear are the face masks. Everything else is the real deal. I feel like an astronaut. There you yeah. go. <laughs> you look amazing. You look so good. EVAs or spacewalks are one of the most challenging tasks carried out by astronauts. They have to be really careful while they're outside the spacecraft. They're exposed to radiation, space debris can pierce their protective suits, and they have to make sure they stay tethered to the spacecraft at all times, so they don't float off into space. Time for Asia and Finton to suit up and head out for their EVA. This is my dream, living it. Asia? Hey, Finton. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hi. 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 Hey. Hey. <laughs> Is that supposed to be out? Yeah. These are all for my experiment. Yeah. On the real ISS, they conduct a lot of experiments, so that's what we get to do. Into the power support. So there's no, like, switch or anything in here, right? ISS, you have got a problem? Roger, AJ. There is an alarm on the ISS, and that means there is a problem. AJ and Mission Control have to help the astronauts on the space station figure out what the problem is so they can solve it together. B-A-T-T, M-N-B to on. I can't see that. Is it on a different panel? Uh, L1, yes. L1. Repeat it one more time. Uh, B-A-T-T, M-N. There's oh. an A and a B switch. There are so many pieces of equipment. I was just looking at one page of the thick manual as well. I mean, it does make sense. It's a very complicated piece of equipment. So when he said B-A-T-T, that meant battery. That's what it was. And an A-C-K. Right up here. Roger. Right. Right. Perfect. No more warnings. No, they're gone. Gone. OK. So you need to open the box. 
Oh, yeah. Call it by the big loop. I did the other one. Okay, okay. Stealing my job now. Okay. Space camp instructor Brian is helping out in mission control. He's talking Asia and Finton through their EVA. First, start off by removing VCP-5 from slot E1. VCP-5, slot E1. Yeah, just make sure you don't drop it or else uh, it's like a couple million dollar mistake. <laughs> Should it's be off. Yeah, it's off. They use the harnesses to create a sensation of zero gravity, so it's weird not to be able to stand on something. All right, and you're going to replace that with VCP-9. OK, VCP-9 it is. I think that if I was doing an actual EVA spacewalk mission on the side of the International Space Station with millions, if not billions, worth of dollars equipment and, you know, Earth is right there and the fields are going to fall down, that would be really stressful. And, like, when I was in the space, I was, like, tense and I was stressed out the entire time, so I wouldn't be able to imagine what it's like being an actual astronaut doing that. Is that lined up? Mm, I'll no. try hold it in place if you get the first screw. Yeah, yeah. So they said this is the same kind of EVA that we actually doing on the space station. Where components have to be replaced on the outside. Oh yeah, and the components are worth over a million dollars. Do you think you guys will be all right if I take my lunch break right now? <laughs> You're hilarious, Brian. We've all got on great with Brian. He has a great sense of humor, so that helped. Although, I'm not sure if someone in the real mission control would be as funny as he is. Oh. Brian? Yes? Am I your favorite now? I'm sorry, your comms are cutting out. I didn't hear what you said. 